Overdoses are becoming a bigger problem. The number of suspected opioid overdoses has jumped 727 percent in three years in South Dakota, from just 18 in 2015 to 149 this year so far. Good Samaritan laws are supposed to encourage people to call for help when someone around them overdoses. South Dakota put one on the books in 2017, but as Kelloland's Angela Kennecke is about to show you, many people are still too afraid to call police for help. It's painfully ironic that on the day that my daughter died of an accidental overdose, I was actually working on a story on overdoses and Good Samaritan laws. Now, seven months later, I have returned to that story, as difficult as it may be, because it is important and may save lives. Leanna Bernard first shared the story of her daughter Kristen's opioid overdose in 2016. And they had uh, gone over to... I guess what's known as a drug house here in town, and when I uh, got to work Friday, an officer come to my work and let me know that she had been found dead at that house, full of people. Bernard continues to live with the fact that no one called 911. So instead, while she's dying. They are um, clearing the house of drugs. One's calling his mom. They're calling everybody except 911. And then even when a mother's called, she also is scared for her son. So she don't call 911 either. She goes to the home. Bernard says their main concern was clearing out any evidence to avoid going to jail. The paraphernalia, the drugs, everything that belonged to my daughter, gone. And meanwhile, she's laying there turning purple, dying. Bernard has played out the what ifs over and over again in her mind. In a case like this, we all know that seconds count. Yeah, they do count. Especially if, even if I had been called, that the house is only, and I've timed it, I've, I've drove the route a few times, and I could have been there in two minutes. Cases like Kristen Bernard's prompted the South Dakota legislature to invoke a new law granting immunity from arrest and prosecution for those calling for help in a drug-related overdose. The laws are there to encourage those people not to worry about if there are illegal narcotics on scene or if they were using with them and to help them make that right decision. Uh, there's important to keep that one person alive. And life comes before prosecution. We want to save as many lives as we can no matter what they're they're doing. But prosecutors don't think the message is getting out. We're still seeing the fatalities. Uh, you know, we've had cases where somebody did the right thing and we utilize this law to dismiss that uh, possession charge against a, an otherwise criminal defendant. It's been used in the field. Um, but I don't know how much practical effect it is having in those high stress situations with people that are already making very bad de decisions on a horrible drug. Bernard hopes that as more drug users become aware of the law, They'll do the right thing if someone is dying in their midst. She's not the only one that um, has died as a result of somebody not calling 911 out of fear. They are not there to arrest you. They're there to save a life. And it's your responsibility to call them and to save that life. If you don't, I consider it the same as murder. You are literally letting another human being die. Immunity is only granted for possession or ingested and can be granted only one time. But there is no statewide system for tracking when the law is used. It does not apply to those dealing drugs.